go. Match one of the first series of week five. Can't wait to see who gets this win. And that Taz with an incredible save. Starting off from kickoff and solid possession for Multi trying to keep the ball, but he loses it. And Taz now has possession. Trying to take his time, force the ball down the field, but he's blocked off by Chero. Now Ulti hits the ball up. Pass, trying to pass to Night Fang, who pops the ball down. He, <laughs> ball pops up again, and now Ulti trying to beat Taz, but Taz beats him, taking the ball on the wall. Going for a flip into the ball, and ball just shoots up. And now Sal, going for a hit, actually gets beat out by Night Fang. And Night Fang is a very solid player himself. I believe he's SSL. And Taz trying to get the save, but Chero gets the shot, and that's goal one for Team Purple. There we go, and that's going to be a very solid goal here for Team Purple. Ulti and Chero both following up for that ball, and Team Green just weren't able to get back to it. Remember, right now, Team Green, they're just trying to get at least one series win at this point. They have yet to try and get a win on the board. They've yet to get a win on the board. The only other team that has only around one win, I believe, are Team Aqua and above Region White. But Team Purple, they are, their only loss, I believe, was it's your team. Team Cyan are going to be continuing to look to be strong. Lettuce looks for a shot, but it's going to be cleared away once again by Team Purple. And we have the two, I'd say, the last setting players of their old teams. We have Cyanide, who was an oh, incredible goal from Night Frame with the bump, but Cyanide, who was the uh, last season sub coming in for the Team Green roster, who has actually stayed with this roster along with Salad and... Taz, Tazaro, actually. But now we have Ulti, who has been on Team Purple for way too long. He's been on Team Purple forever. And so these players are still trying to make a point and be on these teams and make these teams and do that top two contention. Exactly. Now, ball's going to get popped over to the side. Ulti trying to take a message. Lettuce over to the side once more. It's going to be back in the middle for Cyanide. It's not going to be hit on target. And Nightfang now trying to maintain possession. Nightfang pops it up into the air over to part of Salad. Ball's going to bounce out mid over to Nightfang. Nightfang looks for the follow-up, isn't able to get it. Now Tazaro taking possession, trying to bait in a 50-50. Very solid 50 from Taz, but no one on his team is there for the follow-up. Jero off the backboard, followed up by part of Salad. And now it's going to get the Nightfang trying 1v2 this on defense. That thing now pops the ball up, showing his high-level gameplay as he is SSL. And now Ulti has the ball. Pops the ball off the wall, trying to pass to Knife Thing. And Knife Thing is there to receive the pass. Goes for the shot, but Salad blocks it. And now Sinon has time. Goes for the flick, couldn't get it. And now Salad bails him out, booms the ball downfield. And Ulti flying in the air, couldn't get the pinch. Ball actually goes backwards. And now back on defense for Knife Thing. Has the ball. Tazaro tries to challenge him. And Tazaro, I think, is going to be one of the most highlighted players in this series because Tazaro is the improved, probably a very improved player. And he has come from Academy League, but Knife Thing getting his second goal of the game. Here we go, Team Purple. We're already seeing that aggression really pay off. Even if they don't get their shots on target, they will always be there. And now, Benji, what does Team Green have to do to try and at least hinder? Not even completely stop, just be able to hinder this offensive pressure. I think they definitely need to shut down Night, Night Fang, who's the leading the offense in most of these goals for Team Purple. But definitely need to shut down Night Fang and get more midfield possession because they really are just playing defense and waiting for these shots to come in, which if they keep waiting for these shots, they're not going to score any of their own. Taz in great possession. We'll look for the pre-flip catch. Just isn't able to get it around Knife Fang. Taz has definitely improved his mechanics. He's trying to use his mechanics in-game, which is going to be great. A lot of people, they practice so many mechanics in free play. They just never practice it in-game, so they never end up using them. But as we can see, Taz definitely using those mechanics, definitely still trying to improve and get to call himself one of the better players in Havoc. Even if he does go to the promotion and relegation tournament, I think he's perfectly fine and safe if he does make it there. Definitely, and that experience that he's gained from that one season of Havoc that he would play in, if he were to make it into the pro promotion relegation, we've seen with so many players that playing in higher level games and playing against higher level teams, especially in that promotion relegation tournament, really does benefit you in the long run with your team. Exactly. Now ball's going to bounce out mid here over to Ulti. Ulti looks at the shot. It's going to be off the fourth man. It's going to be another chip shot, but Cyanide will clear the ball away. Jero's in a very awkward situation. Ends up trying to put the ball over to the side for Night Fang. Night Fang tried to maintain possession, just wasn't able to do so. And now Ulti will clear the ball long down the field. And Night Fang tries to catch the ball into the corner, but now Cyanide has him blocked. Tazara flies into the air. Both players actually missing on both teams, and result the ball going into midfield. Ulti passes the ball into his corner. Tazara has possession now. Trying to play the ball into midfield, but Ulti blocks him. And now Sal, the third man, pushes up, goes for a shot, but Chero has the ball blocked, him, and Nightfang takes control of the ball, trying to do anything with it. But Sinead actually blocks him and sets a pass for Zara, almost gets a shot, but Ulti with an incredible save. And still, no goals up for Team Green, and only about three shots compared to the nine from Team Purple. Team Purple, they're normally known for the strong offense and weak defense, but unless I'm about to cast or curse it, their defense has been very solid so far. But now it's just going to be over here. 
Now back over to the side. It's going to be over now to Tazaro. Tazaro over to over to Chero. Chero trying to maintain possession. Gets it around once. Going to be over to Nightfang. Nightfang fakes it. And Taz just trying to get one touch on it. Nightfang though still on the ball. He's a menace. Trying to look for a pass out mid now. Ends up just going for the boost. Still gets a pass out. But it's going to be a great clear from Cyanide to deny that situation. Outside uh, pushing the ball towards the midfield. Can <laughs> Chero just barely miss the save. But Tazaro actually could not get the shot. Barely a little bit of a whistle. That would have been... The goal they needed to put them back into this game with 30 seconds left. And now Nightfang pushing the ball down the field. Gets read by Cesaro. Now Ulti has time. He's actually going for another hit but couldn't get it. And Ulti using his mechanics gets the foot reset. Actually 50 it in midfield. Nightfang goes for the little bit of a pop shot. And now Ulti goes for the double touch but cannot get it. And with 20 seconds left, they'd have to keep the ball out of their net for Team Purple. They have all the goals they need. And what do you think went wrong for Team Green in this game, Luke? Team Green overall, they're playing a very solid game. They're trying to maintain possession, but when it comes down to it, they're not able to use their mechanics in the most efficient way possible. We have to see them not only taking possession, but losing 50s to create that space. Tazaro is trying to lose those 50-50s, but when it comes to taking possession and doing the match that they need to do, they end up flopping. And that's something they have to make sure they can be able to do, is not only maintain possession, but once they get space, they have to be able to use it. And I think only only person, only person on that team that's really doing it right now is Tazaro. Yeah, Tazaro really showing his his skill above this team, and he's trying to he's is the newcomer here. So is Salad, but he's trying to show that he belongs here and he belongs in mainly trying to carry his team to the first win of their season. Exactly, ball is going to get popped up high. Team Green still looking for a goal. Gladys couldn't put the ball. Improving in so many of the little details that you can improve on if you were to just play ranked or six minutes or anything like that because you don't have our coaching system that we do in Havoc or you don't have other players to tell you what you're doing good and what you're doing bad or teammates for that matter. Exactly, but now it's going to go over to Tazaro. Tazaro 50s the ball across. Team Green still looking for their first goal of the series. Ball's going to get popped out now to Nightfang. Nightfang apparently has switched cars. Did not feel comfortable on the Octane. We saw that last week from him. He was on the Octane. He ended up hitting the ball in the, off the crossbar multiple times. Right when he switched to the Fennec, I don't think he missed a single shot. So he's definitely trying to recreate that type of aggression and consistency that we saw in the previous weeks. But we really haven't seen Nightfang, Nightfang play bad this game. I've seen, he's probably the most impactful player on Team Purple at this moment. He's scored so many goals, so many saves. He's opened up the field for his teammates to do anything they want. Exactly. Now it's going to be back over to Tazaro. Tazaro passed the ball mid. It's going to be over to Cyanide. Cyanide ends up trying to get the re a possessive touch for himself, but he ends up putting it in an awkward situation. He gets two people on Team Green to jump. It's going to be Taz versus the SSL. Tazaro really stepping up there, getting the save when it matters most, but now it's going to be over to Cyanide, who ends up just giving away the ball, and Ulti will gladly take that. Pass it off the backboard. Chance here for Nightfang, and Lettuce will get the save. Chance here now for Team Green to push the ball down the field once more. And Lettuce really stepping up on defense in the Lamborghini, I believe that car is, but it doesn't matter where car is. He still gets the save, and now Sinai trying to push the ball downfield, but Nightfang blocks him, pops the ball off the backboard. Kids are getting hit, he gets a possessive hit. The ball pops but right back out to Nightfang, who has boost and the ball into the corner. He's trying to get a pass out to his teammates mid. Still has possession, though, plays 50-50, and Nightfang is just running circles around this defense. And finally gets demoed by Lettuce. Now Taz has some time, pops the ball up. Not the best touch, and now Chair has some time. Plays the ball into the corner once again, and still a 0-0 scoreline from both these, both these teams. Team Green looking very strong. Cyanide tried to look for the demo play there, but Nightfang is too skilled to manage to not get demo by a simple play like that. Now it's going to be back over to Ulti. Ulti looked for the hook shot, but with a great bump by Lettuce, it's not going to come through. Now Lettuce looking for a beat past Chero. Isn't able to get it, but Cyanide into the air looks for a shot. It's going to be saved away. Now it's going to be back right over to Chero to try and maintain possession. Chero maintaining possession. It, that he will do. It pops the ball towards the corner, and now Ulti. As time, has a little bit of boost to work with, but gets beat by Lettuce. Now Tazaro taking control of the ball. Pinches the ball in, and the ball kills both teams now next to the ball. Tazaro with another 50-50, and ball will favor small, favor Chera. And now Salad has some time. Miss slips, and now Ulti has the ball again. I think on the wall, going for the air dribble play, but Sinan has him red, but actually cannot get to the ball in time. Now Ulti plays the ball backwards, trying to go for a shot. Ball is bouncing towards me. Can, Chero can barely not get the shot, and a save from Tazaro, really stepping up on defense for his team. Chero passed the ball right back. It's going to be over to Nightfang. Nightfang tries to maintain possession. He's going to be trying to go over to the corner. Nightfang, no one challenging him. Has a lot of time in the air. Looking for the pass over. Ulti goes for the bump instead, though. And it looks like a little bit of a miscommunication there from Team Purple. It's going to get the Chero to try and stop this offensive push. Cyanide taking control. Looks for the 50-50. It's going to go around Nightfang. Tazaro takes possession. 
Cyanide looking for demos. Tazaro ends up getting beat though, and Lettuce is forced to challenge his third man, but luckily for Team Green, he manages to get the challenge, and still, with one minute left in the game, it's still 0-0 for both of these teams. Now Taz, 50-50 out towards the corner. A little bit of whiffs on this Team Green side, but now Cyanide pulls the ball back downfield, the ulti booms the ball right back. Can Salad get hit? Salad cannot get hit, and ulti capitalizes on the misplay from Salad, and ulti getting the going goal for his team to put his team above in this game with less than a minute left hits the ball up the wall and then just reads the waterfall down and gets the pinch off the post that was a very solid goal there from ulti managed to bring this game right back in it for his team 0-1 now for team green for team green got to fight back they got to see if they can get that first goal remember team green have still yet to score this game has been a close one they just haven't been able to get the offense they need lettuce ends up just hitting the ball right into ulti it might be an empty net but tazaro there right for the support again trying to help this team out to the best of his ability but nightfang reads the ball bounce down and he gets a second goal for team purple as much as tazaro is playing solid at this moment in time. His teammates just aren't able to get the touches that they need. And just when, within the last 30 seconds, they've just had an onslaught of shots by Team Purple. The shot difference still weighing out for Team Purple. About seven compared to two. So a lot more shots and a lot more closer game than we saw from game one. But still, this game heavily deciding for Team Purple. And the third goal and the second goal for Nightfang really just putting his team ahead. Now with 35 seconds left, this game looks like it's in the books. It must have a miracle happen for Team Green. And it looks like it's just one of those cases where once once one pebble drops, the rest will fall. And that's what's happening right now in terms of Team Purple. They get one goal late in the game, and now the floodgates are open. The goals are just going to keep coming. But maybe Team Green can maybe get a goal here. But it looks like Lettuce cut off Tazaro and Sinai will look for the follow-up. Just aren't able to connect. Tazaro now trying to maintain possession of the offensive corner. Fakes it out once, trying to make sure they get the ball mid. The ball is out mid. It has gets the bump, but Chero with an amazing bump will manage to make avoid them getting a first goal. Team Purple trying to get the first perfect sweep of the season. And I've seen Chero on defense so much. He's got those incredible saves where it doesn't really look like he's going to get the ball, but he just barely gets that hit. And most of the time, the shot is on net, so the accuracy isn't the problem with Team Green. It's about just Chero. you got to shut him down on defense. And now... A commanding 3-0 lead and still no goal for Team Green. And what do you think the mentality is looking like for Team Green right now? Team Green, it all depends. I think this is more on individuals right now. I think they... And that's a huge mountain to climb. They just got to take it game by game. Every single goal by goal because they are yet to score a goal in this game. Or in the series, actually. Taz trying to maintain possession. Ends up fifting the ball down the field. Is it in? Do they get their first goal? And that's what we like to see. Tazaro getting his first goal on the board. And that, he, that is a well-deserved goal from Tazar. He is the rock for his team right now. He has got the goal within 11 seconds of the game. So this will be just a huge momentum swinger because now Team Purple one's playing from behind. Exactly. Zero right on to the kickoff once more. Team Purple versus Team Green. Can Team Green get the win that they need? And if they can get one win, that means they can get more. But it's not a matter of if they can. It's a matter of if Team Purple are going to slow down this offensive push. Look at this right here from Team Purple. Nightfang with the dribble loses the 50 perfectly over to Ulti. And Ulti actually facing forward for the first time in his life puts it in the back of the net. Incredible shot from Ulti. And all the momentum that was rising for Team Green is now shut down. And they have to regain. They have to keep the momentum going. Because this is really just an uphill battle. And they have to keep just trying. And the second they give up in their minds and just think the game is over, that's when they lose. But they can always keep going. Exactly. Now, ball back into the hands of Cyanide. Cyanide will leave it. It's going to be back over to Lettuce. Nightfang into the air. Ends up not being able to follow the ball, and Taz will get a very solid touch, but it looks like he's on low boost and is going to have to try and fight to get back to the ball. Here comes Chero. Chero wins a 50 50 past one, tries to set up his team here. Here comes Ulti, looks at the shot. Lettuce will get a save over to the side, but it's still awkward, and he'll have to try and maintain possession to get this out of defense. Now it's Zara pushing the ball downfield into the corner, but Nightfang on the dominance. He has three games, three car, car switches, which he's won both of them in a commanding no goal lead. So I really don't know why he's switching cars, but whatever folks his boat will work for him. And now Ulti trying to go for the ball, hits the ball off the backboard, trying to push the ball mid, but Tazaro clears the ball into the corner, has time now, Nightfang goes to challenge him, and ball back onto this Team Green side, and actually a pre-jump from Chero, plays the ball but won't really do anything, and now Ulti trying to play a 50-50 in this ball. Staying within the, first of all, green side, but also just the corners, really no goals happening, or no possession plays happening right now. Ball back over to Lettuce. Lettuce ends up losing a 50-50, but it is wide to the net, so now Taz can take possession. Lettuce ends up having to jump over the ball because he ended up rotating front post, and that's just going to be a dunk into a goal here. Look at this goal here from Nightfang. Ulti just out 50s 
the likes of Desaro because he was in an awkward situation. And Nightfang does sign it to the ball. This is why Team Purple are so dangerous. It's not necessarily their strong defense that keeps them in games. It's their overwhelming offensive pressure that can be so hard to stop if you're not used to it. Definitely. The best defense is a good offense. And Team Purple are showing that every single time they play. And really the strategy to beating them is countering that defensive side. Just play, get it past one and then you can counter their... Because their offense is relying on... The player going after next player going after next player they really are a well-oiled machine but if you can break that machine you can score goals so cyanide tries to shoot but he cannot get the ball on target and now cyanide flying into the ball but ulti will beat him clears the ball downfield into his into the wall that's <laughs> let us boom the ball back on the side Tazara going up in the air tries to beat chero does beat chero the pass is mid but cyanide as a third man has to go and cyanide does go and can he get a shot on target he does get the shot on target and this game is tied right back up here we go. This is what we want to see from Team Green. They're starting to be confident. They're taking possession, and they're just looking for shots. As we said, Team Purple, their defense has never been the strongest of factors. And if Team Green can just take possession and be confident in their own style, they can take a game off of them. It's just not a matter of if they have the mechanics to do so. It's just if they can just get the confidence needed to go onto offense and look for those shots. Definitely. If they if they can get that down, they can take more than just games. They can take the whole series, but they first have to start off with this game. They have to try and get the next goal, and if the next goal is so important for them. I think we've seen, well actually we have seen, that every single goal, the team that starts off with the goal does win the game, as Team Bro have only been the ones to score goals, but now Team Green trying to force this game, and then trying to force the next game, and trying to get to game five, but they have to win this game first. And now Ulti, because he's past two, and now Chero on the wall, goes for an air dribble, gets the flip reset, and now trying to beat two, gets to the musty flick past two and net. And now Night Fang with the ball and just so much pressure coming from Team Purple. Ball pops out. So now gonna be up to Ulti. Ulti fake challenges though, even though Cyanide was a mile away from the ball. Ulti still gets the 50-50 in possession though. And it's now gonna be into the air. Ulti gets the flip reset. Can he look for the shot? It's on target, but it's gonna be saved away this time by Lettuce. It's gonna be up to Chero trying to maintain possession. He looks for the Cuxer pinch. Isn't he able to get it though? And actually Cyanide completely read it and gets a pass out mid. Kaz 50s the ball himself mid. It's gonna be up to Lettuce. Lettuce though can't get the dunk on Ulti. And even though Team Green had a very close chance there, it's now going to be up to Team Purple to take their opportunity. And a fake from Taz. Has to be Night Fang too. Playing it slow. Actually beat them, but no boost with him. He's going to keep following up with the ball, but it really can't make any plays. Tries to pass the ball mid, but cannot get the hit. And now, Lettuce goes for the ball. And Cyanide is starting man. Has to try and play it patient, waiting for Smiths to come back. And Chero tries to pass the ball mid. Tries to go for the musty flick. And actually a pinch. And ball is saved by Salon. And Night Fang trying to pass the ball mid to Ulti. Ulti going for a shot. And 50-50 is saved by Taz. And still an onslaught of pressure coming in. But I feel like Team Green are handling it very, very well. Lettuce actually has five saves coming from him. And still, five, three shots compared to the nine from Team Purple. And almost ten, actually. Yep, Ulti gets another shot. And still, they really need to score within the next time. Or they're going to go to overtime, which will be the first overtime of this series. Exactly, but here's a chance here for Team Purple. Lettuce will get back to it, cutting off that midfield pass. This is going to be over now to Chero. Chero tries to pass it back to Night Fang. Night Fang's a little awkward. Lettuce off the ceiling, trying to get an early challenge. He actually gets the bump on Night Fang, but luckily for Team Purple, they're still on the ball. Ball's going to bounce out mid. Now over to Cyanide. Cyanide has tons of time on this ball. He's going up the wall. Cyanide onto the ceiling. Ends up not getting the best best recovery, but he still manages to get the 50 at the end of the game. Taz, though, takes an amazing shot. It's going to be saved away this time by Ulti, but Team Green, they're piling on the pressure. They want to at least bring this to a game four. Cyanide with the pitch on target, but Chero gets the save, and the ball is up. Is anybody up for it? Chero is up for it, but nobody on Team Green is up for it. And now ball, three seconds left. Will, an, will a zero second goal happen? Ball looks like it's gonna get killed, and Night Fang actually keeps it up. The ball is still up, ball pinching down to the corner, and the ball will drop our first overtime of the game, and an incredibly crucial one as Team Purple are on match point. Team Green, they've improved every single game, and if they manage to win this game, they can continue to that improving streak until maybe they can take their first series. However, Team Purple, they're not gonna go out without a fight, but it looks like Team Purple have gone back to double committing on every single ball. Bounces out mid once again. It's over to Cyanide. Cyanide, though, is getting bumped by Chero. To be over to Night Fang. Night Fang in a 1v1. Isn't able to take control. A little bit of panic there setting in from Night Fang. The SSL is now going to be over to Cyanide once more. Cyanide looking for the 50 50. Tries to put the ball forward. It's going to be blocked out by Chero. Chero over to Lettuce. Lettuce pops the ball out to the side. It's going to be over to Night Fang. Night Fang looks at the 50 50. Isn't able to get there. It's going to be over to Ulti. Now Ulti off the side while he ends up getting demoed by Taz. Cyanide. He ends up getting bumped out by Night Fang. And Night Fang will maintain possession. Night Fang looks for the shots. Going to be saved away. And Lettuce now has free possession. A demolition derby coming out from both these teams. 
the panic and fear coming out as in an overtime game which should happen but these teams really do not want to get scored on and now taz pops the ball off the backboard chair does get a hit to delay it and now lettuce has the ball taking his time tries to 50 the ball mid and the ball will bounce off the wall it taz is up for but actually a double commit sign it actually hits the ball but now ball played back into the corner now team purple has time night thing especially going for the ball taking his time tries to beat one does beat one goes for goes for a flick but now lettuce hasn't blocked it sorry into the corner getting pre-jumped by cherub and ball will play towards the midfield Night Fang is going to beat Sinon. Sinon will get the hit. And Sinon popping the ball towards the net. Can he get the skull? Let's shoot a, a, a save. A double save, actually. And still incredibly close. And Team Green still showing that they can cont cont contend Sorry, with this team. Team Green, their pressure starting to pick up. Their mechanics are definitely a lot more solid than last week. However, they have to make sure they can keep this consistency going. They have to be able to do it throughout this entirety of the overtime. One mistake, and Night Fang or Chero or... Chero will definitely try and pay for that mistake. Ball's going to go out mid. That's a poor 50 from Taz, but it does go just above the crossbar for Sinai to follow it up. Actually, that was a very solid 50 there from Taz. Don't want to give him credit where it's due. Ball's back over to the midfield line. It's a two-on-one. Lettuce, though. He looks at the 50-50, but he 50s it the wrong direction, and Team Green again missing out on another opportunity. And Team Green, seven saves on part of just Salad. And another five for Tara and Sinai. So the defense is incredibly showing from this game. And t still with an onslaught of shots. But now another one from Night Fang. Tries to pop the ball backward. Ulti passes the ball mid, but Sinai has him red. And now ball popped up. Jero has one touch. Can he go for a second one? Boost is low. Tries to get a pass, but now Salad reads him. Jumps over the ball, and now Ulti has some time. Using it very wisely. Tries to pop the ball over Taz. Does get the ball over Taz. And now Night Fang has time. And Night Fang in the corner again. Tries to play the ball, but Sinai has him red. Ball's out to the backboard. Night Fang hits it off the crossbar. It's going to be saved away by the fourth man. Ball is still on the offensive side here for Team Purple. Lettuce will clear it away off the double commit with Cyanide. As we Chero taking possession. He gets the flick over one. Taz, though, with an easy read. Takes possession. Look at this possession from Taz. He looks better than the SSL himself in this game with in regards to possession. Here comes Night Fang, and it's almost as if to prove my point. He ends up missing that touch. But Ulti into the air, looking for possession. Ends up trying to get it past one. Couldn't get it past Lettuce. Chero. Winners it down the field. Taz will pop the ball off the side wall. Now back over to Night Fang. Night Fang looking for the pass mid. He gets a 50 with Cyanide. Cyanide ends up managing to get a, almost a perfect pass there from Chero. That's going to be a double commit, though, on the back line from Team Green. Can Taz get back to the ball? He doesn't. Ball's bounces out mid. Chance here for Chero. It's off the post. And now here comes Cyanide to clear the ball down the field. A 600-point game on, on part of both Salad and Ulti and 500 for Taz and Night Fang. These teams are battling out for this game, and Salad has to make a save, makes a great save. His eighth in this game so far, and get, actually gets a demo on Night Fang, and now Chera trying to pop the ball mid. Ball is mid, but Ulti will not go for it. Taz beats him, trying to pass the ball in that field, but Night Fang has him red. Night Fang now has the ball, playing mid, pops the ball up, trying to go for the air dribble. Passes to Ulti, goes for, Ulti goes for a shot, but pops it back to Night Fang. Now Night Fang goes for another shot, shot is just off, and now Taz has time. Taking his position beautifully, has the ball, beats beats Chero, and has the ball still. Low on, he's taking the ball downfield. Now Night Fang booms it, on, and Salad has a shot. Shot is just off, though, and now Ulti booms the ball downfield. And these teams are fighting for every single possession play and every single shot. Ball is now back into the corner. It's off the ceiling. Now over to Tazaro. Tazaro puts the ball forward. Now it's going to be up to Night Fang. Night Fang, though, gets beat by Cyanide. Chero should have a free possession here on his own backboard. Looks for the breezy pass over to the sidewall to Ulti, but they end up both whiffing that ball. Taz in the middle. Looks at the 50. Sets up Cyanide beautifully. Actually, he sets up himself, but they end up double committing there. A miscommunication there. What could have been an amazing chance there for Team Green. However, the balls bounce out to the middle. Over to Taz. Taz ends up faking out that one. Over to Cyanide. Cyanide Channel trying to maintain possession, looking for the 50-50, isn't able to get it. Taz now ends up faking it, and it actually gets Night Fang to bite. Night Fang, though, still follows the ball. Awkward here for Lettuce. Can Lettuce get back to it? It's off the crossbar, and Taz will clear it away. Still five minutes into overtime, 2-2 two to two between these two teams. A whole other game played from both these teams. This is the peak performance we've seen from Team Green, especially. They've, As you said, they've been improving every single game, and it's really showing us they're just in so close contention with this Team Purple squad. We see it, so many so many shots, so many saves from both these teams, and just fighting for this game. And now Sinon has a hit forward, tries to pass to Zara, who was hitting it off the wall. Zara still with time. Night Fang has a 50-50 on him, and Chair is downfield. Two players actually going, ulti as well, and now Sinon booms the ball downfield, trying to follow it up. Actually has the follow-up, trying to pass mid. Cannot get the pass mid, as ulti has him blocked it. And now Tazara hitting the ball, trying to get another hit. Will he get another hit? He will not, as no one is actually hitting it, but Chair has a 50-50 with Salad. And ulti booms, passes the ball downfield. And Sinai actually gets free jump by Ulti, and the ball will sail downfield. 
Ball bounces out mid. It's gonna be now over to Tazaro taking possession. Look at this control here from Taz. He flicks it over one. Gets the demo on two, but Chero is going to be back just in the nick of time. Ball's gonna go bounce over to Nightfang. Nightfang still trying to take possession. Can't get it past Cyanide. Team Green are not falling. At least they're not gonna fall without a fight. And Team Green still pushing strong. Here comes over Cyanide. Cyanide ends up not being able to maintain possession. Lettuce does get a touch. Cyanide tries to make it awkward for Team Purple, but Nightfang will manage to get back to the ball after being bumped. Ball bouncing up middle over to Cyanide. It's, he's going to get beat. And now Team Green trying to take possession here out to the offensive side. Zara, really the saving grace for the team, especially on offense. We've seen so many possessive plays from him. So many players where he's beating one, going for another play, and actually a fake on the side of Nightfang. And now Nightfang in a 1v1 tries to get the pass. Hit past Zara, and that demo ball is sailing mid. Sinai cannot get the hit, and a shot for, a shot for Chair actually cannot get the shot. And now, as we approach the 6 minute and 40 second mark, just still no goal for both these teams. Ball bounces out mid, so now be over to Cesaro. Cesaro trying to maintain possession, ends up giving it over to Nightfang. Nightfang tries to hit it forward. It's going to be blocked out by Cyanide Taz. Last on defense, he ends up going for the ball. Very solid there from Cesaro. Now over to Chero, trying to maintain possession. He looks for the flip reset instead. Looks like to be a very useless flip reset there as Lettuce ends up trying to get a, getting a free challenge here against Team Purple. Cyanide clears the ball out to the backfield line. Apparently only Cesaro on Team Green is trying to maintain possession this moment in time. Lettuce, though, pass it down the field to, to Taz. Ball bounces out mid. He into the air is Chero. Ball bounces out mid once more over to Nightfang. Nightfang looks for the shot. Ball. Now that's going to be a double commit from Team Green, but Lettuce gets a second touch on it. That was a very crucial touch. But now Ulti off the ceiling looking for a shot. Gets it over, and oh. Team Purple will complete the sweep with a win seven and a half minutes into overtime. Devastating right there, but that is an overtime goal. That's how Team Green wanted to get beat. It wasn't just a random goal that popped in. Ulti.